guys, welcome to my fourth quarter David's Tea subscription box unboxing. Um, yeah, this was actually supposed to come in October. I did get a note from David's Tea saying that they were having trouble getting everything shipped out on time. So it did come mid-November instead, which whatever, fine. Um, I should mention that I was kind of harsh on their third quarter one because they had a lot of teas that were sweetened in there, which I'm usually not a fan of. I did end up liking a lot of those and I actually bought more of some of them. They had a dark chocolate orange black tea that was super yummy and then a candy apple one that I really liked. Um, so I think at the end of that, one, that video, my last video, my third quarter unboxing, I was like, I'm not going to do this again. Um, but this is my final box. So as I've mentioned before with the David's Tea subscription boxes, you pay one fee at the beginning of the year. And I think it's like $120-ish. And they send you a box like this each quarter. Um, so rather than it being monthly or something or doing it by quarter, you pay it all at once. So it's a yearly subscription. So this is my final box. And I'll go through this and I'll have to decide if I want to do this again next year or not. Um, the other thing I've done off and on is Adagio's Community Box, and I like that a little bit better because they send you a box with a tea for each day, and every day is different, which is kind of fun, and then you can go online with their community board and kind of rate the teas, and it's kind of a fun community and kind of a fun thing, and you get to try, like, a lot of teas. If you're somebody who drinks, like, more than one cup of tea a day, like, maybe four or six like me um it's fun because you get like a new tea each day and then you're still drinking whatever else you like to drink all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into this and see what they have in the fourth quarter tea box and i i, I would imagine it's very uh christmasy okay so we do have something here it's a little christmasy thing it is a holiday confetti glass bubble cup so let's try to open it here of course it's not cooperating because you know geez sweet here we go finally got it open okay so this is interesting it's like a little double walled cup that has con oh confetti's like Something's falling out of it. Confetti is falling out of it, which that can't be good. Um, anyways, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like the confetti's in between like a double wall glass cup and it says uh, tea tasting club. I guess normally I drink tea and things a lot bigger than this. This is kind of cute, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I was I keep holding out. I really wanted another perfect tea spoon from them. But, um I got that instead, so I'm not sure what to think about that. I'm not super crazy about it, to be honest. And glitter was, like, falling out of there all over the place, so I don't know if that was, like, excess glitter or if there's, like, a crack in that cup somewhere or what's going on. All right, now let's get to the, the big guns. Um, again, I did not get a book in here, so uh, the first time they had a nice book that, like, explained the teas and had some neat stuff in it, I have not gotten that, and I actually sent them a note <coughs> asking about it because I didn't get it in my third quarter tea box either and they're like oh yeah it's supposed to be in there it wasn't and I never got it and again that is missing but we're gonna just go with the flow all right so the first one in here is an oolong tea it is a silver bell oolong um it's high caffeine it has white tea milk oolong tea with natural milk flavoring and jasmine green tea pearls so it's going to be kind of like a jasmine white slash oolong tea. So it says it's supposed to be creamy, floral, and zen. Um, so that, that sounds kind of interesting. I like oolong. Fine. All right. The next tea we have in here is the Mary Mistletoe. This is another white tea. Um, this one is caffeine-free, though, it says. Uh, it has apple pieces, raisins, hibiscus blossoms, Apple and cranberry flavoring, cranberries, cloves, apple slices, cinnamon sticks, mistletoe, white tea, rose petals, cranberry, and stevia. So this is another sweetened one, which again, I'm 
I'm not huge in this. I have some problems if I drink too much Debbie. I get headaches from it. Um, but it says it's supposed to be a tart cranberry and spice. And the other ones that they sent for kind of their fall teas, their third quarter box, did have some ones with Debbie on it. And they didn't bother me. So, so that was okay. So this, from the ingredients, sounds like it's going to be very much one of those like teas that taste like Christmas kind of teas. <laughs> very like apple with spices and cranberry and all that kind of stuff. So sounds good. All right, the next one in here is the Elf Health, which it says is free, fruity, sweet, and coconutty. It's a green tea. That's what that one looks like. So this one in it is a medium caffeine. It's green tea, black currants, orange peel, papaya, apple cranberries, coconut, natural orange cranberry cream, and macadamia flavoring. So I really like coconut teas, and um, I think this sounds really good. This is probably going to be kind of very fruity and smooth black tea. I, I really enjoy, and there is no sweetener in here. So I think this sounds amazing. And these packages are actually really nice. They're kind of like a matte finish to them and very brightly colored. So very festive. All right. So the next one is one I've had a million times and I'm not sure why they put this in holiday box, but that is the organic mother's little helper, which is minty, citrusy, and relaxing. It's an herbal tea. Um, this has peppermint, lemongrass, hibiscus, Rose hips, chamomile, valerian root, corn flowers, and natural peppermint flavoring. This is a very nice tea to drink when you have a cold or when you are trying to get to sleep. They call it Mother's Helper because it's supposed to just help calm you down and help you go to sleep. And it is a good winter tea. I just have a lot of mint teas, so I didn't really need more of this, but it's always good to have around. I drink it. Um, it's not my favorite mint tea from David's Tea is actually their African mint, which has um, it's a green tea that has mint in it, and it also has ginger in it, so it's a little bit of a spicy, like, mint tea, but it's probably my favorite. Oh, no, this one sounds kind of good, but I think I've had it before. This is the Chocolate Chili Chai Tea. Um, it's a fiery hot chocolate, and it is high caffeine. It has black tea, chocolate, red peppercorns, lily petals, ancho chili, Aleppo chili, and natural and artificial chocolate chili flavor. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think I had their chocolate chili chai before and I did not like it. It just wasn't spicy enough for me, but we will see. I bet you this would be really good as a latte. So I might have to make this as a latte in the morning. All right. We got a few more to go through here. Um, the next one, and I have had this and I don't like it, <laughs> is the, uh, caramel shortbread. It's a fruit infusion. It's supposed to taste like buttery almond cookies, and it, it does. It's it's sweet, 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 and I don't like it. But it has apples, raisins, brown sugar, natural and artificial almond and hazelnut flavoring, elderberries, willow bark, almonds, hazelnuts, sour cherries, raspberries, and stevia. And this is sweet. It does taste like shortbread cookies, though. So if you're into tea that tastes like really sweet shortbread cookies, this would be your thing. This is not my thing. I might cut it with like some plain tea or something just to give like plain tea a little bit of a nutty sweetness flavor, but yeah. Not a big fan of that one. All right, and then the last big sample in here sounds pretty good. This is Nordic Berry, and this is a fruit infusion, so it's an herbal tea. It's supposed to be vibrant, fruity, and calming. Um, this has apple, carrot, hibiscus, lemon, verbena, Rose hip, sea buck thorn, sweet blackberry leaf, natural cranberry and orange flavoring, red curd, cranberry slices, lingonberries, and corn flower petals. So this just sounds like it's going to be very fruity, and it's always nice to have a good fruity winter tea. So um, that does sound good. And then there are two smaller samples in here. Um, the first one is a hazelnut chocolate puree that's described as rich, chocolatey, and nutty. This is medium caffeine. It has puree, apple, cocoa peels, artificial chocolate, hazelnut filling, chocolate curls, brittle pieces, cocoa pieces, hazelnuts, and stevia. So I'm guessing this is going to be kind of a dessert tea. It's going to be very sweet and chocolatey. Probably makes a pretty good latte. I have not had that one before. And then the last one they have is the organic North African mint. I love this tea a lot. I've bought it many, many times. It is hands down my favorite tea to drink when I want a mint tea or when I have a cold. Um, this is low caffeine, has organic green tea, organic ginger, organic peppermint, organic cardamom, 
organic licorice root, organic fennel, organic clove, and organic black pepper. It's very much like a minty tea, but it's not just super strong peppermint. It has kind of a spicy kick to it, and it always makes me feel better when I'm sick. It just like cleans up my sinuses, and it makes me feel good. So those are all the teas. Um, they do tell you in here, again, like normal, they have like optimum brewing times, and there's a crossword puzzle down in here, and um, all of that. So out of all of these, what am I excited about? You know, I'm not super excited. What am I not excited about? Because I'm not really excited about the Mother's Little Helper. This is just a plain old peppermint tea, and I don't know. It's fine. I'll drink it. I like mint tea in the winter, but it's nothing special. Um, I'm also not excited about the shortbread tea because... I think it's disgusting. It's just too sweet for me. But cut with some other tea, it can be okay. So I have a whole bunch of um, rubos or black tea loose, and I can put a little bit of that in there if I want a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, the ones that I am pretty excited about, though, there are quite a few this month that I'm really looking forward to reading. For reading, oh my gosh. I usually do book videos. Tasting, I guess. Um, this Merry Mistletoe sounds amazing. It sounds like it's going to be one of those ones that taste like Christmas, which are honestly my favorite kinds of teas, and I'll drink them any time of the year. The Silver Belt Oolong, I love jasmine teas, and so this sounds like it's going to be really unique and interesting, like an oolong white tea with jasmine and, like, some milk. Oh, it sounds so good. It'll be nice and smooth. Um, this Elf Help sounds really yummy, a coconut fruit tea. It reminds me a little bit, they have an alpine punch tea that I really like too, that's kind of a fruity coconut tea. I hope that's what this is similar to. It just sounds super yum. And it's a green tea, which is great. Sorry, I dropped stuff. Um, North African mint, highly recommend this. It's good to have like a sachet of it. Um, check the chili time on the fence boat. I think I've had this before and I wasn't crazy about it, but I will try it again and just confirm that. Um, I'm a big chai fan, so I think I've had all their chais. And the Nordic Berry sounds really good. I love having these, like, creamy, sweet berry teas for the winter. Um, sometimes it's just nice to get away from the chai. I, I tend to like spicy, like, chai teas, but sometimes it's really nice to have, like, a sweet berry tea to drink. So those are pretty exciting. Um, not too excited about this hazelnut chocolate one. It's just going to be a, a super sweet, like, high caffeine tea that... I don't probably need. I'm not sure what to think about this, this ball thing, which again, now that I, I can't open this cup, um, I like it's interesting, but it's kind of weird because like there's you see that I don't know if you can see that there's there's still stuff falling out of it, so it's supposed to be in this double walled cup, but I'm not sure why there's stuff falling out. It's almost like it's coming out of the bottom down here or something. I don't know. It's very weird. I'm wondering if it's just like when they manufactured it, they got glitter everywhere and that's what's on the cup. It's cute. I think I might set it out and put like a candle in it. I don't know if I feel comfortable drinking out of it because there is so much like glitter that's still coming out of it and going everywhere. I'm going to look really festive after this. Um, yeah, so that's a, a decent box. I'm excited to try some new things. I will say like winter and fall teas are my favorite. And so I am just really looking forward to trying some new ones. And as for whether or not I plan on continuing this, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm kind of on the fence right now. I have a lot of tea that I need to get through. I have kind of a tea buying issue. Like I just keep buying more and I do drink it all eventually, but we have a like one of our pantry shelves is dedicated just to tea right now. And I don't know that my family appreciates that because I'm kind of the only one who drinks it. Um, I have been liking the some of the teas I get. It's an interesting combination. They always seem to do like three or four new ones. And then they have like some of their favorites in there. Um, I'm not a fan of a lot of their favorites. So that's just stuff I don't need. So I don't know. I think I'm going to have to sit down and do a bit of a cost analysis just to see like is it worth paying. Is it being like 30 to 40 excuse <laughs> 30 to 40 dollars a quarter for teas and I end up not liking like some of them you know what I mean I, maybe I should just spend that on tea that I know I'm gonna like or teas I want to try um it is packaged very nicely and it's very 
well presented. I don't know what's happened to the little booklet that talks about the teas and everything. Like that's disappeared out of my last two subscription boxes. Maybe they made a conscious decision to get rid of it. But when I did contact them, they did say that, um, yeah, it was supposed to be in there. And um, But this is the second time I haven't gotten it. And it's just kind of a nice little book. Like I, I would keep it down by the teas so I could read about the teas while I was making the teas. And they have like little recipes and little like crossword things and all that. And I know they still have the crossword puzzle in the bottom of the box, but I'm much less likely to do it once in the bottom of a box than I'm going to sit down and do it once in the little book. So I don't know. I guess I'm on the fence. I don't think it's an awful deal. I think it's well packaged. You get some good teas. You get some nice accessories. Um, I just don't know if it's worth it because I have so much tea and I'm pretty opinionated about what teas I want to drink. So um, some of the ones I just end up not liking and then I give them away to friends or whatever. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that fourth quarter David's Tea subscription box unboxing. And I will talk to you later for stacking the shelves, getting back to our regularly scheduled content. Um, anyways, do you have any teas you love or you have any um, tea companies you like to buy tea from? Please feel free to comment below. I'm always super curious to hear about more sources of tea because I do love it. <laughs> Um, I generally try to do videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Sometimes I kind of fall off the edge of the earth because I get really busy. Um, but Wednesdays is always something different, like a subscription box unboxing or best books of the month or something like that. Saturday is always a stacking the shelves. Um, and with that said, I hope that you have a great week and drink some wonderful tea and I will talk to you later. Bye.